let's switch on that note to the subject of longevity escape velocity, something that we're both passionate about. In fact, I've got my, uh, my longevity cup here, which says on the backside, what would you do with an extra 30 years of healthy life? Um, which is a low right. ball number. Well, also, I mean, when you get the 30 years of extra life, it's not like nothing's going to happen to you. <laughs> that's the incredible part, right? It's like, I mean, it's like, every year we're going to be able to yeah. develop new things. For example, all of our organs, what do they do? They either put things into the bloodstream or they take things out, except for the heart and the brain, which is a different matter, but we can also deal with that. Uh, but like the lungs, put in oxygen, take out carbon dioxide, and we're actually developing those. Yeah. Going to a board meeting of United Therapeutics next year, and we're actually developing lungs, hearts, kidneys, Livers, and kidneys, so on. Yeah. And, and it's only a few years away. Uh, so literally all of our organs will be redeveloped, uh, so they'll be much more reliable. Right now people lose their lives because if one of their organs doesn't function properly. So right now you, you go through a year and use up a year of your longevity. However, you're getting back approximately four months from scientific research. Um, so you're only losing about eight months a year of your longevity. But by the early 2030s, which is around 2032, depending on how diligent you are, You'll live a year, you'll give up a year of your longevity, but you'll get back a full year from scientific progress. Beyond that point, you'll actually get back more than a year. You'll actually go backwards in terms of time. Now, that doesn't guarantee you'll live forever. You could have a healthy 20-year-old. You could compute his longevity as many, many decades, and he could die tomorrow, probably from an accident. We're also dealing with that. With that. Yeah. Uh, Self-driving cars, for example, have almost no accidents. We lose $40,000 a year from human drivers. Uh, generally, uh, self-driving cars will actually have no accidents. It, it's an amazing time. I just tweeted out this morning a quote from a paper by Dario uh, Amodi, uh, the CEO of Anthropic, and he says, it is my guess that powerful AI could at least 10x the rate of these biological discoveries, giving us the next 50 to 100 years of biological progress in the next five to 10 years. And it's um, gonna keep getting faster and faster. It's not like we just go through one step and suddenly we're going from getting back four months a year to 12 months. It's gonna go faster and faster. And we're gonna actually deal with accidents and actually be able to back up our brain and back up our heart it's going to be very hard to imagine how you could die. Uh, and people don't really want to die. You ask people, well, do you want to live to 120? And people are negative about that because they think of people that they've met. They exactly. haven't actually met anybody 120, but they've met 95, 100-year-olds. They don't want to be like that, but we won't be like that. And people actually... And people say, well, I don't want to live past 95. Well, when they get to be 95, and if they're sound mind and body, uh, and they say, do you want to die tomorrow? The answer is no, unless they're in, they're in horrible pain. pain. Yeah. And uh, obviously, we want to uh, avoid that as well. 